What's going on, Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below, and you guys will get a what, babe? You guys will get a shout out in the next video. That is right. So, guys, as you guys can tell by the title and thumbnail of the video, this is not clickbait by any means. This is actually something serious that happened a couple of days ago, and we wanted to share with you. Full disclaimer: Blooper is okay. He's the one that got attacked. It wasn't me. But we're gonna get into the story of exactly what happened. All right, Infinite Fam. So let's get this story started from the beginning. So basically, Isaiah and I went to take Blooper for his regular afternoon walk, and I honestly didn't feel like taking him for a walk that day, but something told me to just go. And so we're walking he him. Huh? <laughs> so he has to go. I'm saying like me going with you. Like I didn't really want to go with you outside. Oh. It's just because like, I don't know guys, I get tired and when I'm stuck in the couch, I'm stuck in the couch. Like I just can't get out. Couch potato pretty much so oh, postman go we're walking blooper and you know the sun is shining it's beautiful out and I was not expect him to I guess encounter any dogs it was kind of quiet around the area we usually know and we're aware of any dogs who are around but this dog came out of nowhere now mind you guys this is not a pit bull this is not a Rottweiler this is not a golden retriever this is literally another chihuahua and it immediately happened as soon as we had left the house like as soon as we get out we walked down the stairs we saw it was an old you said it was an old man already or not yeah it was an old man so it was an old man walking his chihuahua the chihuahua looked a little old i'm not gonna lie it looked a little rough around the edges but anyway so we're walking blue down the stairs and then all of a sudden this dog just starts barking like crazy going wild and give me one minute i'm gonna be fat for one second i'm gonna help you Hi, can I have an order of hotcakes with bacon? Anything else? A medium orange juice? Anything else? That'll be all. Okay, first one though. Thank you. You're welcome. Your meal is $7. Mind you, I'm about to get a fruit bowl because I'm trying to be healthy and my meal is $20. I'm telling you, man, it costs more to be healthy. The government is setting us up for failure. So annoying. I'm telling you. And I'm, I'm getting set up for failure. I'm eating like garbage. And that's okay. The dog starts going freaking crazy, barking, going wild, and then we don't think anything of it because there's a lot of dogs in our complex. There's always a dog barking, and hold up, I gotta pay for my fat meal. <laughs> Thank you, you too. Have any of you guys ever worked in a fast food restaurant? I was always curious as to what it'd be like working at a fast food restaurant. I think the closest thing I ever did to fast food was just being a waiter. Yeah, I was never like a waiter or anything. No, wait, I because worked at Starbucks. I'm mean, not Starbucks. Listen to me, I wish. Subway. Subway for four days and then I quit because he sliced his finger open making, making a sandwich no making a kid's sandwich <laughs> was the best thing ever the kids looking at me like and I'm like <laughs> dying so where were we uh, the dog starts going crazy we don't think anything of it because there's a bunch of dogs like how many dogs would you say are in your complex more than 30 dogs seriously there's literally a lot I would say almost every apartment has a dog or two yeah like damn near and keep in mind like he is a chihuahua this dog but he's like pretty hefty like he's on the thicker side Booper is a very small dog and this dog seemed like he had like five to six pounds like more meat on him or even more because he was very was just solid. a fat chihuahua yeah like that dog was pretty hefty yeah so i still felt like it could not compare like blooper would still get hurt if this chihuahua were to attack and like isaiah said we didn't think anything of it because dogs bark at each other all the time but all of a sudden i turn my back and this dog comes out of nowhere and starts running up to blooper now everything happens so fast and i always thought of myself as like you know with flight and fight like i thought i was always a fighter but in this moment i froze ah you folded under pressure janice and you folded i felt so guilty that i did that because i did not know what to do with myself i literally held blooper and i yanked him and the dog was just on top of blooper at this point for what it's worth you didn't have much reaction time guys when she said that everything happened quick it, it literally happened within a second yes because they weren't like too far apart from each other but the way that the dog got loose was he was barking going crazy and like shaking his head like he wanted to like get loose and he ended up getting loose because the collar that not the collar the leash that he had on wasn't really tight around his neck so he was able to like get his head out of it and that's when he charged that blooper i honestly i'm kind of pissed at the owner because i feel like the owner 
probably just made his own leash. It wasn't a legit leash. That dog was not strapped in. And when you're in a complex with a lot of other dogs, you know, the least you can do is invest in a real leash because things like this are going to happen. And I was kind of upset. I was very upset because when the dog came up to Blooper, he was biting him. And I had no idea what to do. Like, I was just like, the dog was on top of Blooper. And Blooper, at first, was very confused. And he bit him probably, like, four times. Um, four yeah, times? Yeah, he was like, dun, 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 like, biting him fast. Like It's a chihuahua. Now, the reason why I wasn't so upset at the situation is because this type of stuff is common. You know, dogs, they get loose. Dogs like to fight with each other over dominance and all that. I wasn't going crazy because it's a small dog. See, I'd be going completely crazy if this was like a pit bull attacking Blooper because Blooper's not your ordinary size Chihuahua. If anything, he's on the smaller scale of Chihuahuas. I don't know if you guys can tell over camera, but he's actually really small in person. As I wasn't really going too crazy at the same time, it was an old man and like he was trying to like rush and get his dog, but again, he's old, so he was like kind of like speed walking. He really couldn't like run like that. So I don't know, I kind of felt bad for the old man. Like, I did not. Yeah, you're, you like have no like mercy on the old man i had no like, mercy because you should be having a proper leash for your dog if your dog is able to get out of the leash and you know that he is then you should have just detained him that's it's just that simple i don't care how old you are like if you're that old then you should know how to take care of a dog the feel the syrup it was warm some hot syrup they started scrapping a little bit blooper wasn't even attacking back blooper is literally a lover not a fighter he yeah not he was back. kind of just like looking at him like what are you doing to me and then he noticed i guess that he was biting him and then he was about to attack back um and isaiah picked him up he wasn't even gonna attack he just started like growling he was like like yeah. like like get off me type thing but he was like eating everything that the dog was doing to him like jumping on him like nibbling on him he was literally just like taking it like he was like unfazed by it so yo blooper could take he could take it no he can't he look at him look Guys, we're going to show you after we get out the car, we're going to show you guys him and show you that he's completely okay and he's normal. There's nothing wrong with him. Yeah, so they started scrapping or whatever and then I immediately just picked Blooper up once I see that the other dog is just trying to go ham and then that was it. The guy ended up getting control of his dog. He put the dog back on the leash and he was just talking to us, I guess, trying to make the situation better. He was like, oh yeah. He was talking in Spanish. He was like, oh yeah, I moved here from Clifton, New Jersey and um, I've only been here for like a week or something like that. And I'm talking to him too because I know what it feels like to be in that situation where like something embarrassing just happens to you and you just want to like change the subject real quick and just like get over it. I'm so sorry I was talking to him too. If I sound like mean or rude, but I just went in complete mommy mode. I was pissed. I didn't care. He's like, I'm from Clip the Bibba. I don't care. It's this old Your Spanish dog guy. Literally like, I just attack my dog. Are you kidding? I literally felt for him just because I, it reminded me of my grandparents. Like, what would my grandparents have done if their dog did they that had in a, a proper situation? Leash. Nah, but still, like, I'm thinking about what if my grandparents had that dog and that happened? They would have did the same thing. They would have felt, like, uncomfortable. They would have tried to, like, make the situation better. So I felt for that. Like I said, it's another chihuahua that attacked the chihuahua. It's not like a pit bull or a rottweiler that attacked but the chihuahua. But my thing is, the situation could have been way worse. How? That's the thing. Because it could have been if it were a bigger dog. Or yeah, even if the dog took a serious bad bite. It doesn't matter if the dog is still a chihuahua. That dog is still bigger than Blue. So he could have really hurt him. That dog was so old, he barely had front teeth. I'm telling you, that dog was... I'm telling you, the dog looked rough. That's pretty much the story. It was like, everything happened so quick. There's not really much else to tell there, is there? All I know is that, thankfully, Blooper is 100% okay. I checked him afterwards, and I looked everywhere, because even if there's not, like, a big bite, like, I was thinking the worst. He could have had rabies, the other dog. He could have not had gotten any of his shots. He could have carried yeah. something over but to my dog. But you need all that. You need all that to get into this complex. Okay, but I was you not thinking proof. that at the time. So, I, as I said, I go in complete mommy mode. Isaiah is completely different. He's just like, oh, yeah, it's fine. Oh. Guys, in a bad no. situation, you kind of have to, like, train yourself in a way or try to learn. You can't panic. When you panic in a bad situation, it only makes things worse, and it prolongs the resolution. So, every bad situation that we ever get into, she freaks out just because that's, that's a natural reaction. I'll freak out like on the inside, but I'm like keeping calm and I'm like, all right, let's fix the situation. Let's figure it out. Like, I don't know. I'm really just ready to like to fix everything. See, it's not really my control because I do have anxiety. So 
it just automatically overcomes me. I want to think logically about things and I want to be on my feet with situations, but sometimes I, I have no power over it. But in this instance, like me, like my thoughts of, oh, he might have rabies or he might do this and do that. I feel like that's just my mom instincts and I really want to take care of my baby. And I feel like thankfully nothing happened because if something did it would have been such a bad problem for me it's a common thing that happens dogs they they beef all the time it's over dominance it is what it is like i said thank god it was a small dog on a small dog and not like a crazy big dog on a small dog that's pretty much it for the story time guys we're gonna go inside now after i finish my pancakes we're gonna go inside and show you blooper and show you that he's completely okay there's nothing wrong with him he's probably being lazy right now at the window we'll see you guys then look at that one wow Look at that happy wow wow. Tell the infinite fam that you're okay. Say I'm okay. See? See? No bite marks on Right, baby? Me. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Guys, whenever I say hey, he'll like turn his head, like he'll pause, but right now he's like a little too hyper because we just got back home. That's mama's boy. Right, well, wow, you okay? There it is. <laughs> So that's it, Infinite Fam. That is it for our story time. Uh, we just wanted to give you this last clip and show you that Blooper is okay. He's still in his little crackhead mode, right? Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at that one, wow. He's such a lover, which he wow. See, how would you ever be mad at this? Oh. Mm. Probably smells of syrup. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, Infinite Fam, we just wanted to give you this last clip, show you that he's okay again. Again, we'd like to update you guys with everything that goes on in our lives. So this happened a couple of days ago, and we just wanted to share it with you guys. And that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, that's it. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up right now. If you guys want more story times, let us know down below. But other than that, we'll see you guys in the next video.